speak to your Lord, to your, to your husband. Or if you have a question, you ask your question and you, you direct it to your husband. So what if he's not with me? What do you mean he's not with me? What if he's not with me? What if he's in a separate place from me? Why when do I place? speak? Why is he in a separate place? Maybe he has to go out and work. Okay, I mean, like, if you have an and issue. And maybe I'm at the grocery okay, store. So if you have an issue, you can let the other person know what's So issue. when in do these times, I have an issue to speak. Okay, so the question is, in these times, in modern day times, in modern day times, how will we, you know, carry ourselves in that way, trying to pursue the Bible and do it in God's way? How, how will we do it? You see how he goes to work and we go about our day and stuff. She's saying, when is it time for us to speak if we can't speak to nobody? Because my sister, you gotta understand that the leader of the nation is who? Who? God. Man. What? Man, right? The man. The you know, your man is the leader of the nation. Because that sister, when you was growing up, right? They had to say, who wore the pants in the relationship? What was that referring to? Who was the who? Who wore the pants in the relationship? That was referring to the man. The man, right? But yeah. in today's talk, the woman got the pants on. She That's in the Bible, on. too? She got, she, yes, it is in there. It is in there. The man wore the pants in the relationship? It does tell you that. Okay. Bring it up. But I see men that wear robes. No, no, no. That's 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 the white man that taught you that. Black that wear robes. That wore togas. That they, they call them togas. Yeah, togas. Green. Togas. green. Togas. Yeah. That's the white man. Yeah. The Bible calls the Christ a black man. Christ is a dark-skinned black man. That's what was taught. That's what the Bible says. But the white man taught that Christ is white, and everything that came with it is evil. So back, back in you know in that ancient time, um. The men, uh, men wore pants. Exodus, Exodus 28, 28. Because the robe thing is a, is a, is an Egyptian custom. Okay, hold that. Give you Leviticus 18 verse 1. Remember, we are the children of Israel. When God sent Moses to deliver us from Egypt, He gave us strict instruction to stop living as the Egyptian, like today we're living like the Americans. Read. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. Which we are, the blacks and Latino and native Indians, we are the children of Israel. The true truths of this Bible. We're not black, we're not Trinidadian, we're not West Indies, Haitian, or Latino. We are God's chosen people, Israelite. God is speaking to us. Read. That's when we left Egypt. Okay? Read. And say unto them, and say what? I am the Lord your God. After the doing of the land of Egypt, wherein ye dwell, shall ye not do. Remember, when we were in Egypt, Egyptians wear what? They wear a skirt. They wear a dress. God said, Now, since I took you out of Egypt and gonna bring you to the land that I promised your father, we that part again. After the doing of the land of Egypt, wherein you dwell, shall ye not do. Don't stop doing the things that you used to do in Egypt. Meaning what? Stop wearing shirt, I mean skirt as a man. Stop holding your face or your head as a man. You understand? Read. And after the doing of the land of Canaan, whether I bring you, shall ye not do. Because in the land of Canaan, the African, they were sleeping with their parents. You understand? Son was sleeping with mother. Mother-in-law was sleeping with son. God said, even to the land that I'm bringing you, the people in that land do not do the way of, of living, the things that they're doing. Okay, read. Neither shall you walk in their ordinance. Ye shall do my judgment and keep my ordinance. To walk therein, I am the Lord your God. Read. Ye shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, where if a man do, he shall live in them. I am the Lord. This is, this, these are the things the people from the land that, of the land of Canaan, which they call the land of Israel today. These are the, pe the people that we move from out the land. Listen to what they used to do prior. Read, read. None of you shall approach any that is near of kin to him to uncover their nakedness. Meaning what? What do you think you're going through? Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom.
They say none of you should not go close to anyone that came to you, that close to you, to discover her nakedness. What do you think he's talking about? Do you have any body, idea? The body. Huh? The body. The shape of her body, her, the her body. It's more into it. Read. Go ahead. Listen. I am the Lord, the God. The nakedness of thy father or thy nakedness of thy mother shall thou not uncover. How are you going to uncover the nakedness of your mother or your father? Is it because you're going to see him naked? No. He said, do not but uncover. Sex. Don't say it again. Sex. Say it again. Sex. Yes. Do not have sex with your mother or your father. That's right. what he said. Read. She is thy mother. Thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. The nakedness of thy father father's wife shall thou not uncover. Isn't it what we're doing today? Son is sleeping to his uh, father's wife? That's right. When you watch Cherry Springer, I don't know if you have this have that show. Isn't it all the time you see them fighting? Father find that his son is sleeping with his wife? That's right. Or son find that father is sleeping to his wife? Read. These are the things God said the people of those land was doing. He doesn't want us to do those things. Read. That's right. It is thy father's nakedness, the nakedness of thy sister, the daughter of thy father, or the daughter of thy mother, whether she be born at home or born abroad, even their nakedness shall thou not uncover. Now, brother find out, you know, they sleep with their sister because the father having women different places, and then they find out the woman they slept with, they are the sister. That's the hold on. God said for us to not do it. That's now, right. okay, you, you kind of have an idea of the things that back then, from the other nation, we learned God said not to do. Now let's go to the fence. We're going to show you these are the things God instit instituted when we left those lands. Uh, 28, 42, Exodus. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 28, verse 42. Bring so now up. we're going to show you when God told us to stop wearing skirt or what you said again, long, That's long, yeah, yeah, read. And thou shalt make them linen breeches to cut. What is linen breeches? Because they probably don't know what you do. What is linen breeches? What another name for it? That's linen pants. Like, say that again. Linen pants. Breeches are pants. Pants. Read that again. And thou shalt make them linen breeches to cover their nakedness. From the loins even unto their thighs, they shall reach. Read verse 21. Verse 41, and thou shalt put them upon Aaron, thy brother, and his sons. Oh, his daughter. His sons. Daughter. His sons. Who the linen preacher is going to be put on? What does the Bible just say? The sons. Huh? The sons and Are the brothers. Are you following too? The sons and the yeah. brothers, yeah. Does he say daughter? No, he said brothers. Okay, read. And his sons with him, and shall anoint them, and consecrate them, and sanctify them that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. And thou shalt make them linen breeches. Thou shalt make them pants to cover their nakedness from the loins even unto the thighs. From the loin unto the thigh. They shall reach. And they shall put upon Aaron and upon his sons where they come into the tabernacle of the congregation. Now give me the Romans 28, 22 verse 5. This is why God gave us this law. This is why God gave us this law. Bring it now up. you wonder why, you know, this law is established. Why? Because God gave us, God gave men what? He gave men pants. That's why he, did, he said this now. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The thing that belonged to a man was what? He gave Aaron and his son. The bridges. Which is what? We call it now. Pants. Pants. So you understand now why God said yeah. the woman should not wear the things that I give to the man, which is pants. Read. Neither shall the man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall the man keep continue to wear that long garment you mentioned, right? Read. For all that do so, any of us that cross dressing are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. God said any of us, any woman that wear pants, or any men that wear dress, we are an abomination unto God. You know what is abomination with God? What does it mean? 
it means that you like you forsaken him and, and off of the nation is something disgusting yeah disgusting God you disobeyed said, God said, for those of us that cross dressing you discuss your dis to God okay now nah, sister sis sister you understand you understand why you wear is under garment you understand yeah because today we call that clothes why because now in, in, in Babylon, the great which is America, we taught those things. Right. Technically, you're supposed to have a dress of a this. I wear I wear dashikis and stuff. This is just today because I'm going to a certain that. job and I can't just be wearing but dresses all the time. You understand if to crack the sky? I understand. Gonna, I understand what you're saying. Because I got the information now and today okay. in this moment. So all now right. I so can move forward, correctly forward. Move in the forward. future. What are you gonna do? I will wear dresses. All press to the both side. All press to the both side. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's Nation Time.